Now don't forget, my pretties, the purpose of this journey is husbands, handsome and wealthy. And don't you spoil things, Angelica. And stop moping over that picture. You're never going to find your precious mother. Your precious mother! You're wrong. I will find her, and my father too. I'll find them both. going to be plenty to keep you busy aboard this tub. Yep. So hurry up, you lay about! <laughs> All right, one, you'll keep! Why do you put up with the kick? Why do you, Dick? Don't know. We, we don't, don't know. know. Angelica, pick up that luggage and get a move on. Let's hope it's a smooth crossing. <laughs> My card. Ooh. This is yours! Huh? Now hurry! All the best places would be taken. is a big puzzle, Pavel. Great Gretchen, Gretchen. He promised to carry them himself.
Come on, Angelica. Don't dawdle. Look, Mother. It's the banker. Jeremy McFlannel. Oh, magnifique. What a beauty. What a face. What a divine figure. Toothache, Gaston. No, no, c'est rien, Sir William. Ernest, be careful. After all your father sacrificed to pay our passage to America. Don't spoil your new clothes. Hang on, Sonny. Thank you so much, sir. Little nitwit. Need help? No, thank you, Master William. I can manage. Don't be silly, Nanny. Let me. What's with the costumes, guys? We've been on, We've been on tour, senor. And cannot wait to get home, eh, muchachos? To a decent ball of chili. To a chili. decent ball of chili. Mind if I join you? I play wicked bongos, you know. Hold it, please. Hold it, will ya? I'm coming. Be with you in a jiffy. Sorry, Captain. <laughs> Special Detective Sam Bradbury, Sam to my friends, a threat to my enemies. Oh, what a relief. I was just telling the captain how worried I am about my jewelry. But now I feel quite safe at the reception, knowing that your watchful eye is upon them. Um, Detective Bradbury, Miss Rhoda Vanderplank of New York Society. Oh, yeah. The Vanderplank Copper Mines. Oh, a pleasure, ma'am. Actually, the reason I'm traveling with you is that there's a notorious gang of thieves aboard, which I'm trailing in disguise. And I figured by boarding late, I'd go unnoticed. Uh, right, Captain? Sir, ready for sea, sir. All right. Ahead slow. Aye, aye, sir. And go easy pulling out of the harbor. We don't want to disturb the other liners with our wash. Barbara. See you later, everybody. Rob. Let's go get unpacked. Hmm? Coming. Yes. Port screw, ahead slow. All gang planks away. We're off, lads! Oh, it's got bigger and bigger. 
Come in. You rang, ma'am? Yes. Would you please go fetch my ward? Her name is Angelica Pickering, and you'll find her down in third class, cabin 39. I want her here immediately, if not sooner. Your guardian wants you in her cabin right away. I'll show you the way if you like. Coming! Oh, don't start swatting right away, Master William. Sea voyages are for unwinding. Relax. There'll be plenty of time for study. I know, you're right. But I'm in no mood to enjoy myself. I wonder if my little girl has had a proper education. Poor darling. I expect I'll never know. You mustn't dwell on her, Nanny. You're on a sea voyage too. So take your own advice. Relax. Who knows what's around the corner? I dream of my first building going up in America. They're way ahead of us over there. But you never can tell. Progress, Sir William. Progress. One must always be ready to progress. Your humble secretary, even I, could someday become perhaps even your boss. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't need me, I think I'll take a stroll around the deck. You didn't pack our clothes properly, you clumsy girl. Bernice's dress even has a rip in it. Pick up those bits of broken china at once. Then mend and iron our clothes so we can attend the reception to welcome us aboard. In any case, you can't come. You can't come. You've nothing to wear. Nothing to wear. No, 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 no one's going to. No one's going to lend you anything. Nothing to wear, and no one's going to lend you anything. I carried all the toys without dropping one. Papa! 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 <laughs> if it hadn't been for you, I would be now in someone else's digestion. Well, from now on, try not to strike out on your own without checking with me first. <clears throat> because, you see, I'm responsible for how the animals behave on this me. <laughs> Tell me, do you know? Do you really know? Do you know it? Yes or no? Is it yes or is it no? Do you know who I really am? I'm the boss, and I command, I direct the band. Better stop it if you're breathing. This is here, it's time for reason, because instead of being a hero, you know, you might become a zero. It's no confusion, no illusion. I don't see it so amusing. A special trip, so we basically started. Honey, party, party, honey. You, help me. You, me, you, me. Yes. All of you will bring the goodest, mini cakes and mini cookies, tasty steaks and hot salamis, juicy cheese with the capital C. You are. Who us? You are. Us? You are. Uh, yes. Go directly to first class. You find the best you can pour in a glass. Drinks are topped and on the rocks. Sparkling wine and sweet champagne. Let it blow just like the rain. It would be a whack and so come with me. Come on, everybody. You remember it forever. The one on board has added better. We're not for fits. We're not for fits. We're not for fits. What a bar, what a bar, super duper, what a bar. Who rock for fits? Who rock for fits? Who rock for fits? What a bar, what a bar, super duper, what a bar. Who rock for fits? He's the most lovely party. Trying to teach you how to work properly. One needs to be gentle, agile. Elephants! Oh, how can I expect subtlety from two lumbering lumps with hands like hams? Brains between you to fill a sparrow's skull. Hopeless idiots. Dumbbells. I despair. What are you looking for? Where is it? Here it is. That's the way to do it, boys. Understand?
everything all right? Do you need a hand? No, thank you. I don't mind hard work. It's just I'm worried because I can't find my locket. It means so much to me. A present from my mother. I never knew her and without it I'm afraid I'll never find her. What are you doing up there? Hungry? Looking for something to eat? Here. We haven't much. But you're welcome to a nibble. Don't be afraid. Go on. No, you go first. 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 <laughs> what have you done with Tiger? Here he is. Out here. Well. Oh, so you're picking up their habits now, are you? Come on. All right. You start at that end. I'll check the cabins in the middle. And don't come back empty-handed. Right you are. Aye, aye. Uh, don't worry about that. We're professionals. Ooh. Excusez-moi. Bonjour, man mademoiselle. Molly. Euh, pardon, monsieur. May I steal her for one moment? I must apologize for my despicable behavior on the key, but I could not help myself. She's not going to fall for that old line, I hope. I'd like your help with the food and drinks for the party. I'm at your disposal, old friend. I'm afraid Kate here is out of the picture, though. She's about to present me with some airs. Congratulations. Thanks, old chum. Oh, and by the way, watch out for a couple of weirdos, a kind of crazy red-haired cat and someone I hesitate to call one of us, more like a bat than a dog. <laughs> I heard everything. Count me in. But my time is limited. If I don't land her the right company, we're both gonna hit hard times. 
Oops, gotta get back to work. Looks like a walking diamond mine to me. What's the problem? It's a scam. Fake from top to bottom. She wears the bait, but I have to land the fish. <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. ooh, I see. It was a locket that her long lost mother gave her. Then, when I was eating the bread, I heard her say that she can't go to parties because she has nothing to wear. Sad. How about if she comes to our party, Mama? She's really nice. We are having one, aren't we? Yes, of course we are. And don't worry, we'll talk to Fritz about her. There, you see? All done. Don't worry about that locket. We'll find it for you. Got the right key, but maybe it's the wrong key or... Twist it down a bit, maybe. That stupid dog and his fat mistress will fix their wagon. <gasps> You take the mutt. Leave the old bag to me. Looks like we got competition on this boat. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Um... Not to worry. It was nothing. I'm glad. No, please. Leave it to me. Thank you. I bet you look ravishing in this. Could have at least told us what cabin she was going to. Why the fuck? Oh, oh. oh! What's going on here? Don't you know you're not supposed to block the corridors on a ship? Oh, shut up. Stop drawing attention to yourself. I'm not drawing attention to myself. Look at all these things on there. Oh, I like it. I don't It seems fate is determined to throw us together, doesn't it? A little too roughly, perhaps. I'm not sure that's a good sign. Now I must go. Must you? It's not mine. May I have it, please? You're hopeless. Don't even try. Let me. <laughs> All right, 
Dalmatians and the Spaniel have access to the first class dining room, so they'll get the first and second courses. You mice know how to get into the storerooms and kitchens, so you worry about the rest. And you, try using your talents for others for a change and pick up some decorations. What? Ah, yes. Um, uh, while you're on your rounds, keep an eye out for a locket lost by a very sweet person who's kind to animals. It means a lot to her, so let's find it! Come in. Can I help I you? I was... Um, that is... Have you another daughter? Not to my knowledge. In that case, I seem to have made a mistake. Oh, Excuse me. It isn't every day one has the pleasure of meeting a young man of such obvious breeding and good looks. Have tea with us. Stay a while. Good looks. It isn't every day. No, thank you. I must go. Are you sure there isn't another young lady traveling with you? No, there's just myself and my two gorgeous daughters. No one else. Is something wrong, Master William? I met a sweet, charming girl. Suddenly, there she was. She just appeared out of nowhere. I don't know who she is, or even what part of the ship she's in. I saw her go into a cabin, but the occupants didn't know her. She's vanished into thin air. Oh, you'll bump into her again. Hmm. We're on a ship in the middle of the ocean. In the ocean. She can hardly get off. Was she pretty? The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Her eyes were like, oh, Nanny, I think I must be going a bit soft in the head. No, you're not. I know what's wrong with you. Gotcha! <laughs> you're in! No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Hey, you didn't touch me. You know, Victoria, I thought he was a bit bold examining a dress to see if it was my size. We're in the 20th century, dear. Young men are less timid with young ladies than they were in my day. But that's all right, as long as his intentions were good. Well, I've never had a proper family, so I've always dreamed of making one with lots of children and giving them all the love I've missed. But I don't want to rush things. I have a whole life ahead of me. My ball! That boy took my ball! Get me my ball! I want if someone's my ball. found it, they may have... Don't cry. I'll get it for you. Back in a minute. Barbara, Rob, be careful. Don't annoy the, uh, ladies. Angelica! Angelica, come here at once! I want my ball! Here! He took my... <laughs> Excuse me, madam. You were talking to a young lady. Where's she gone? She was called away. How can I find her? I ran into her in a first-class corridor, but she's not among the passengers up there. And now I just saw her here in third. I don't understand it. Does it matter to you whether she's in first or third? Of course not. I just want to see her again. I... I have something to say to her. Well, I know she often comes out here for walks. Oh, I must go in now. It's getting chilly. I told you not to get familiar with the passengers. Otherwise... Otherwise what? I'm always a perfect lady and I have nothing to be ashamed of. So leave me alone.
I would be most honored if you would join me at my table, mademoiselle. I'm sorry, but I have to sing. Oh, one tiny moment. I have a gift for you. It will look exquisite on that gown. Does our first officer have a problem? Oh, no, I sincerely hope not. Thank you. Always a perfect lady and nothing to be ashamed of. Then let's drink to this delightful encounter. I knew you existed. I would have thought you'd be upstairs listening to that wonderful singer. I was too busy looking for someone. Someone with unforgettable eyes. Now that I've found her, I'm not going to let her get away from me again. Please don't make fun of me. I don't belong in your world. I could never compete with the young ladies that surround you. What are you saying? I'm dead serious. The most wonderful thing about this trip to America is meeting you. I don't know whether to believe you or not. Please don't be cruel. Don't hurt me. I've had so much disappointment and I've always managed to see the positive side. I don't even know your name. I'm William. Will for short. It's Angelica. Angelica. Stay. One minute longer. Will I see you at the reception tonight? I'd like to speak to the captain. He just left, miss. But you can tell me. I'm the first officer. Well, I've lost a locket. I went to Lost and Found at the purser's office, but they were closed. Anyway, it's oval and made of gold. There's a picture of my mother inside. If anyone finds it, can you let me know? My name's Angelica P... Just Angelica. I'm in third class, cabin 39. Rest assured, you'll get it if we do. Ah! <laughs> 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 
You realize the locket that French masher gave Molly could be the missing one. Yeah, it sure looks like the kind Fritz told us to keep a lookout for. in here. Oh. Oh, we have to climb up to the handle. Where do you think you're going? This isn't third class. Shh, keep your voice down. Detective Bradbury, New York Police Department. Sam to my friends, a threat to... Ah, never mind. Now look, I'm here incognito on a special assignment. I want to catch the suspects red-handed. Get it? Captain... Isn't that the banker, McFlannel? It certainly looks that way. I suppose with his bank gone under, he's heading abroad to make a new start. I say, let's work the fat lady. After all the trouble she's caused us, she deserves it. Oh, 
and that smelly doggy sound asleep. Oh no! What's the matter, Captain? Something wrong? The Baltic has sighted icebergs in the area, says to keep a lookout. But there's no reason to be unduly alarmed. In any case, tell Stockard to let me know if there's any change in the type of ice we're seeing. I don't know where you're taking me. The way my luck's been running lately, it's bound to be the wrong place. Oh, relax. I hear my four-legged snacky-wackies are setting up a party. You just decoy any canine cousins who get in my way. I'll take care of the rest. This cannon fodder has a lot to learn about the finer things in life. Shh! Maxi, they're coming. Phase one. Ah, that's the snack I'm looking for. <laughs> Picture you're about to present me with some airs. First time I ever had to squeeze through a straw. I get claustrophobia. We brought him in case we need an airlift. So where's this locket? Keep it down, she might hear. The locket's on the table. doing business with you. His name's Will. William. He seems sincere. Of course I could be wrong. He sounds sincere. But then how could anyone lie to you? Anyway, he's the one who rescued Ernest from the handrail. And he did that out of sheer goodwill. Well, he's going to wait for me in vain at the reception tonight. He asked me to go with him, but I've nothing to wear. And my stepsisters would never lend me a suitable dress. Never mind. At least they'll have a good time. You know, my dear, 
I haven't worn this since my poor Francis took me to the opera for the first and last time. It's about your size. Mind you, I had a shape once upon a time. Rather nice, too. Anyway, this time... Thank you. Thank you. This time to do some alterations. What will my foster mother say? And Bernice and Hortense. I wouldn't worry about them. They may not even recognize you. Go on. Find his keepers. You have to give it back to its rightful owner. Owner Schmona. How is it gonna prove she's her mother's daughter when she finds her? That's her problem. It's mine now, and I'm not giving it to anyone. Go out and get your tuchus out there. <laughs> <gasps> no more nonsense. It's hers. Put it around her neck. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd have to give back something that's mine. What about my reputation? <sighs> I'm sure this is a photograph of my real mother. And I'm going to find her. I know it. Of course, dear, you will. You'll hug her again one day. Thank you. Somebody broke into my cabin and stole the locket, but that's all they took. Excuse me, I couldn't help hearing what you said. Something was stolen from you? <laughs> Bless you! Oh, uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. I know who stole my locket. It was that girl. No, no, I don't think it was her. It's possible que. Perhaps the locket is back with its rightful owner. What does he mean by that? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Je suis sûr. Ah! 
<laughs> you know, I never really thought you'd come. I've been waiting all my life for a moment as happy as this. I thought fate. But now. No. You know nothing about me. Nothing you could tell me could prevent me from loving you. Now we can go and celebrate too. Let's make a night of it. Maxi, shake a leg already. Angelica! in here and it's gone somebody lifted it but how <laughs> and when was it insured no need to get flustered now I saw everything of course you have to report it was fake all my jewelry's fake not like Miss Coppermine Vanderplunk's <laughs> I wish you knew that honey bunch didn't you but you love me for myself don't you and we'll be together forever and ever Nothing you could tell me could prevent me from loving you. We'll find your parents, too. I promise you. Good night. Sweet dreams. I know you're out there, somewhere, protecting me, Mother. I feel it.
Join the party. We don't take food from strangers, especially peasants. No. Stupid dog, what am I saying? You look more like a bat! Look at that! What, you never seen this before? That's not just ice. Hello? Hello? There's an iceberg right in our path! Thanks. Iceberg, dead ahead! Left rudder! Right rudder! Hard left, full speed astern! Did we hit? Iceberg, sir. On the starboard side. We collided before I could do anything else, but I don't think it did much damage. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We fixed the fat lady. make it up to her. She'll have no cares from now on. Just be happy, happy, happy. Master William, like me. Something's wrong. Look! I'd better go and see what's going on. Tell Gaston. And perhaps you'd better get ready for an emergency. Lower the lifeboats, and make sure everyone has a life belt. What's that noise? Is there something wrong with one of the screws? No, sir. We hit an iceberg. Do you think it's damaged the ship? Looks like it. You better get a life belt on. What's the quickest way to third class from here? Down downstairs to the right. But you may find the corridor's closed. You better wake the children. Oh, what a shame. They're sleeping so peacefully. Let's find out what's happening first. All right, I'll go and see. It doesn't seem 
serious, but everyone's going up on deck just in case. We'd better wake them and get them dressed. go through this way. Don't force me to resort to violence. You can't go through this way. Don't force me to resort to violence. Don't force me to resort to violence. You can't go through this way. You must let us by. It's our only chance. The other way is filling up with water. All right, but women and children only. Go. Go on. We'll be together again soon, I promise. Hurry up! There's no time to lose! Get them in quickly! This is Van der Blanc! You forgot your jewel case. Oh, thank you. Oh. Mm. Mommy, I forgot my jewels too! I'll go and get them! Then get down to that boat as quick as you can. Go on, Steersman, get in. Women and children, come on, come on! Out of the way! Last call! Women and children! I'll get in the next one. Don't sacrifice yourself for me. Winnie, I... I, I I'm a failure, Winnie. I have no future to offer you, if there's going to be a future. I was going over to find someone to bail me out of bankruptcy. I'm no better off than you are, darling. Truth is, I trapped you. And now that I've even lost Flopsy, you're it. Come on, miss, you're the last one in this boat. We're on a ship in the middle of the ocean. What happened to my poor tiger? You had a tiger on board? No, my chihuahua. He was so sweet and helpless. Looked like a little bat. Where can he be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those horrible creatures are making faces at me! Well, maybe you're bothering them. Come. Sit over here. No. Should we fly to the guests? Selling all the sea. Just take my hand and drag me. That will follow you.
chin up. We've made it. Answer me. <coughs> Help! There's a child here. Somebody save him. Hang on. We can save him too. We must get away from the ship or we'll be sucked down when she goes under. Have company. Do you think he's safe? I'm sure he is. Don't worry. Everything will turn out fine. You'll see. <laughs> Don't sit so far apart, you oarsmen. You're unbalancing the boat. Will you ladies please sit down? Stop moving around or you'll tip us all into the ocean. Is that locket yours? Yes, it's always been mine. Do you still have a picture in the locket? Yes. Ever since my mother put it around my neck as a baby. And then left me. And then left you because she was forced to. Gertrude seemed so nice. Told us we could get you whenever we wanted. But she vanished. Left no address. All your father had was an account number to pay your support money into. Mother? <gasps> Mommy! Oh, Mommy! Baby! Oh. My baby! I mean, I hope you understand that neither I nor your father wanted to give you up. But we had to. And Gertrude seemed so nice. She told us we could come and get you whenever we wanted to. I never thought you'd abandoned me. And the hope that one day I'd find you kept me going like a burning light. You and my father were always there. Always in my heart. It is strange, though. I finally found my mother to lose William. William? You know him? Do you mean that tall, handsome young man traveling on the Titanic? Yes. I brought him up and gave him all the love I wanted to give you. I was his nanny. Oh, Mummy, don't let me stop hoping. What are you doing there? Keep rowing!
Look, over there. It looks like someone in the water. <gasps> There's a body out there. Please, please try to get nearer. We can't take on anyone else. We're too full as it is. What sort of a sailor are you that you're afraid of falling in the water? More weight could make us capsize. And you were second in command of the Titanic. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. Special Detective Bradbury, New York Police Department. Sam to my friends. Uh, oh, just call me Sam. And don't worry, from now on you got me to protect you. Where's William? I knew you existed. I was too busy looking for someone. Someone with unforgettable eyes. And now that I've found her, I'm not going to let her get away from me again. Nothing you could tell me could prevent me from loving you. We'll be together again soon, I promise. I promise. I promise. Oh, darn it. Who did that? Keep still, all of you. Everyone just keep still. Everybody calm down. Let me heal this. Wow. No, no, not the hair. Not the hair. Please. Get that hound off the boat! We're turning over! Throw him back in the water! Let him go, I said! Let him go! Ah, shut up. Try to keep the boat on course for a change. Mummy, it's William! Darling, it's me, Angelica. Speak to me, please. Open your eyes, please. Hello. I told you we'd be together again soon. Sorry I took so long. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, where are you going? The movie isn't over yet. Don't you want to know what happened to everybody? Well. Detective Bradbury finally got Corinthia in the act and had her locked up. Thanks also to Fritz and Flopsy, now detectives junior grade. Sam is super proud of the medal on his chest, but less of the lollipop. However, he swore he'd give up smoking if he ever made the arrest. Poor Gaston, drooling with great expectations, got himself hired by Rhoda Vanderplank. And the heiress put his Gallic charms to the best use possible. A chauffeur, babysitter, cook, butler, gardener, etc, etc, etc. On the other hand, we're sitting really pretty. To thank us for saving him, our friend the ship's cook put us up at his new place of work, the kitchen of one of New York's fanciest restaurants. Here we have everything we need. Even Hector settled in, though he sometimes flies off on what he calls business trips. Dressed in mourning, Gertrude Pickering is all broken up. 
though her tears are not tears of joy, has her ugly nieces Hortense and Bernice marry Kirk and Dirk, who are gloatingly thinking they got it made. At least until Aunt Corinthia gets out of jail and makes them go back to stealing for a living. And here we have the ecstatic newlyweds Angelica and William, together with Mother Nanny Jenny, Victoria and the grandchildren, and the Dalmatians and their children, who were taken in by William and Angelica after having lost their beloved mistress Molly. Well, here's hoping they'll all live happily ever after. Bye for now, and see you soon! Should we fly to the galaxies, sailing on?